know that I was ordering a new PC that we had a donation goal for it and we ended up reaching that donation goal in about two weeks and I was able to order myself a new PC so the PC I currently have or that I was currently using uh, wasn't a bad PC but it did have its issues uh, like if I ran webcam sometimes the webcam would free sometimes uh, my webcam wouldn't be picked up properly. So I decided just to save up and get a new PC. And so that is what this box is right behind. We also got another little package from Elgato sitting right there. But before we go and we unbox this new PC, I set it up and show you guys the new setup. I'm going to show you guys what my old setup was. And by all means, you do not need this much stuff that I have. I started buying a lot of my setup when I was just into playing video games and not even making videos. So a lot of what I have you guys don't need if you guys are trying to be a YouTuber or just trying to start off. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I have currently and then we'll show you guys what I'm going to be using from here on out. Alright guys, so don't mind the wires, but here is just my TV where I watch like Netflix and it houses my 360 my Xbox One, my PS4 controllers and whatnot, and look at that mess of wires. So my cable management is very, very bad. I got the DX Racer chair, by all means. This is an amazing chair, but you don't need it if you don't want to spend. I think this was like $300 for this chair. I'll leave a link to DX Racer down in the description or something like that. Here is my current PC that I was using. It's a custom built PC with like an i5 processor, a GTX 970. Wires I know are terrible. So if you guys cringe at the fact people having messy wires, I do apologize. And then I'm running a three monitor setup. These are just two Dell monitors that I picked up, I believe from Best Buy. They're about 200 each. And I didn't know about milliseconds, like the response time. And I didn't know about the Hertz or the refresh rate. So these are very bad monitors, but they're still very, very good. I think it's like a four millisecond response time with like 60 Hertz or something like that. So they're not awful, but it's definitely better than playing on like a big TV in my own opinion. And this is just an Acer monitor. It has 144 Hertz uh, refresh rate or whatever. And then it has a one millisecond response time. This is a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard. I got the Razer Naga Chroma. Uh, if I hit that, buttons do turn on. If I hit this, it does make a rainbow effect on it. These are just Astro A40s with the mix amp that sits right there. Then I got the Blue Yeti with the pop filter or the windscreen. I do have like a stand up pop filter. That's in my closet. Got the notebook for writing down ideas, 360 controller. And then everyone asks if I use a scuff. So I do use a scuff. Here is the scuff. But these paddles don't work. So I play stick and move. Currently, I do not have my control freaks on there. But I do use just concave joysticks. I play stick and move with the default base. All right, guys. So now it's time to unbox our Ironside custom built PC. So I had them put it together. But it is custom built as in I picked out all the parts. I just wanted some better cable management. We got our Karambit case hard knife it's not from elemental knives i uh bought one before elemental knives came around um i'm trying to think of how i want to do this all right we're gonna tilt it right there on the side i'm gonna cut it all the way down all right so we got so many packing peanuts this is going to be an absolute mess because they are going to go everywhere So we have this nice little this nice little iron side box that they give us. I'll actually throw this right here. See what's in here. So getting started for your new PC. Simple things like that. We've got the power cable for our PC. Extra just extra shit that we may need in the future. I'm almost positive this is. Yeah, this is just Windows 8 or Windows 10 with uh, on a USB. So I'm pretty sure I'm able to install this myself. And we got the 
little packet for the GTX 960 that I got, and then just a little book. So good little care package. I'm glad they uh, they actually do this. This is actually really nice. I like this. Having it on the USB is really nice. Okay, now it's time to get this bad boy out. I'm actually probably going to pause the recording right here and just pull it out myself. Here is the PC. We finally got it out of the box. So we're just going to go ahead and open it up ever so slightly. Here is the PC out of its box. It's a really nice PC. We got, you know, we got six ports for USBs in the back and we got four up top. So I do like that. We have four up here, four or six back there. So we got a total of 10 slots. So we're going to take off this film. Love the sound of that. I like this case a lot because um, it has its own little lift so it doesn't really hit the ground underneath the PC, which is actually really nice. All right guys, so here is the inside of the PC. We just got a Corsair liquid cooling system. We got some G-Skill Trident RAM. Now this has RGB lighting inside of it. Um, yeah, it has RGB lighting inside of it. You got a GTX 1060 right here with a 256 gigabyte SSD and I will be installing my two terabyte hard drive. Yeah, so uh, it has internal lighting and everything all in it and all hooked up. I The main reason why I wanted to buy a PC that is like technically pre-built was for the fact of having all of this just cable man. Something I also wanted to mention is Elgato sent me out a Elgato HD60 Pro that goes inside the PC. So right now I'm going to take this out. I'm going to show you guys how to install it if you guys are planning on getting one of these. Like I said, they did send me out this Elgato. It's I believe it's their newest Elgato that they currently have. And uh, I'll leave a link to Elgato's website down in the description below. So I found out guys that with this Elgato and just my case and how it is, it was a lot easier just to completely remove these right here where it says in and out you really don't need them they're good for just making it look nicer and you being able to know which one's in or which one's out but me i just removed it and it made it flush with my pc case so that was the only issue i saw with it but that was something super minor that it was working with the little stick that was saying in and out but i just wanted to get rid of it but Overall, very, very easy to install this. Very, very easy. I do recommend HD60. It cleans up a little bit of the wires, in my opinion, or just having the device itself out in the open. All right, guys, so it's the next day. I actually, once I got everything put together, I just decided to enjoy it. I played a couple games on it, whatnot. Got Vegas downloaded, Photoshop downloaded, everything that I needed downloaded to create videos. I went ahead and got downloaded and took that time to just relax after putting it together because I still need to install my hard drive into this new setup but uh, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. I'm very happy with how this setup goes and how it's all put together. I am going to still be adding a couple things uh, and a little issue that we ran into was with the PC and that was the RGB lighting strips that go on the inside. I accidentally forgot to click the box when I was ordering the PC to get those lights. So I'm hoping Ironside will send those out to me and that I can just install them myself. And then I got to install my hard drive. But other than that, I love this PC, love the way it looks. And uh, let's just jump into it. So for right now, I'm just going to do everything with this in the dark because you guys can still see everything. Obviously, that is my DX Racer chair. So you guys really can see the wires in the back. I try to do my best to keep them all organized and kind of bunch them up, but it wasn't the case. Real quick, I want to just go and show you guys inside my PC. Inside my PC, you really can't see all that well, but those light up strips right there are actually my RAM. Now those have just a rainbow cycle going through them. Once I get the strips back from Ironside, the entire inside of this PC will be lit up. And the front of this case actually changes to any color that I want it to. I currently just have it cycling because I like to see all the whole bunch of colors and I have everything cycling just like my whole setup right here my rainbow keyboard my razor not uh, my razor black widow chroma keyboard 
with my Razer Synapse, or Razer, not Synapse, it's the programming, Razer Firefly mouse pad, which actually has lighting that corresponds to everything right here. And then we have the Razer Naga, like I said, that cycles through the rainbow as well. So overall, a very colorful setup. Definitely something I enjoy having. I love having really nice uh, peripherals and just everything looking clean and organized. I definitely do enjoy taking apart my setup and putting it back together just for the simple fact. It just makes it look 10 times nicer. Before the ha before this happened, my setup looked a mess and it was terrible. So, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Uh, here is my setup. Uh, this is going to be basically for 40,000 subscribers. We're about 100 and like I think 20 subscribers or so away from hitting 40,000. So we will be hitting that tonight. I probably will be live streaming it. Going to go edit this video, put it together for you guys, get it uploaded, and then go work on some more videos. I'm getting back on the grind, guys. I've missed so many days of uploading this month, and it was terrible. I do apologize. I hate missing uploads. I really do. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like. Comment down in the comment section below. Tweet me pictures of your guys' setups on Twitter. Links down in the description below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.